Greetings and good day, YouTube. How are you all today? Gonna be doing some Nuclear Throne. Random runs up until we get to the throne. Hopefully. We'll beat the throne a couple of times. Uh... Okay, we got a milk now right off the rip. Uh, don't expect us to actually make it far. Because I'm not very good at dodging ammunition or rounds. And... Well, Melting only has 2 HP, so we get hit once, we're done. Unless it's a melee attack, uh, not a melee attack, a, uh, uh, a maggot. Or something like that. We can survive one maggot tapping us, but anything other than that is not happening. Thought I was running into a thing there. Uh, bigger corpse explosions, homing bolts, that's nice. We could go with 4 at max HP, but we're gonna go with one button. Because their corpse explosions is always nice. And it's very useful as you can see. This is your first look see at Oh you dumb 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 son of a I literally ran into that one and go I went, oh it's fine, I can run into that. No, no, you can't, because if you run into maggots you die. Yeah, let's try and use the explosions of the corpses to our advantage and not die a horrible demise, shall we? But yeah, this is your first look into Nuclear Throne. Throne Blood is associated with each character. Each character has a different special ability, uh, a right click ability, that is. Uh, probably extra feet. This melting only has 2 HP to start with, but their right click ability is pretty fucking tough. Ah, that's the boss of the third. more on the whoops the bullets than the bodies kills lower your reload so lower enemy bullets will probably save us i need to start using that more often because reasons we have low hp which sucks but it's not that big of a deal we do have a v availability to go to secret area which so just so happens to be a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reference. The corpse explosion saved my ass there. can be very, very dangerous. Uh, I'm looking for a sewer grate, because sewer grates lead you into the secret area, which, like I said, is a reference to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which right there to my left, if you don't notice. See if we can't get any other goodies. We missed out on probably a little bit of experience, but that's fine. We can hopefully make up for it in the next area. Which is a secret room. Uh, the sewers is a like a one round area, like a one area location. And the sewers you normally go into the. Oh. Uh, the streets. This is the next throw. Oh, scarier face is good. Scarier face is really good. That's it.
I panicked a little bit. But it all turned out okay. This is probably the farthest I've made it with this character. Not gonna lie. Could use an SMG. I kinda wanna keep the pistol there. It's a pretty sturdy, sturdy weapon to utilize. I'm a little broken up in some of my speech things because I'm trying to keep focus mode and I, when I'm talking, I'm not really as focused as I could be. when an enemy's about to fire their weapon because they actually do have a little bit of animation where they put their gun down. Like, you see that gun's raised right now? So they shouldn't be firing. But now... I think it lowered a second after. Oh, God, the explosions. Okay. We don't need HP... Ammo drops might be more useful. Just that, because we're actually low on ammunition right now. But, uh, the melee character got us. I saw him at the last I literally was looking up there to try and make sure they wouldn't get me. And then I looked down and I saw purple. And I'm like, and we're dead. And we're dead. Hey, and we how far we made it with melting. We only took one hit of damage aside from the death. And that was to a maggot. And my own mistake. The maggot didn't cause our death inevitably thankfully uh we did die to a melee character which sucks but isn't too detrimental this character has a shielding ability that drone bug gives them a teleport, which is pretty awesome, but it can cause you to kill yourself if you're not really paying attention and you panic. Uh, what the teleport does is it puts your shield up and starts to shake, and after that, it teleports you to a Oh, that was a that felt like a fast bullet. It kind of felt like a fast bullet because I'm not having slow bullets right now. Hey, we got the shotgun. We missed out on the rads. Very unfortunately, we missed out on the rads. Uh, Euphoria. Hey, let's keep trying to get Euphoria. Hopefully, I won't get too reliant on Euphoria. But if I do, oh well. Any day now would be sufficient. Uh, I don't know what happens if we wait again. I'm actually curious now, so we're gonna not pick that up again and see what happens. Scary face. Homing bullets, we don't have a thing, but we probably should get it because in case we do get a bow, it would be really good. We're gonna get scary face though because lower HP. Oh, oh, that's how you unlock that character. That's how I forgot. So to unlock that character right there, you need to not pick up the thing for a couple of turns. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Hey, wrench, wrench isn't too bad at all. If we 
unlock that character, we actually will utilize that character for a uh, couple of rounds. I'm gonna. We didn't level up, so I'm actually not gonna double check because I'll look away and get killed. because I didn't have a pistol and I had a melee weapon. Kind of a little frustrated by that one. But I'm not used to melee weapons in this again. I mean, it's been a while since I played it sometimes. The last time I played it was whenever I played it last on stream. Grenade launcher, we can go to the secret area. I think that was another slugger, so let's keep the pistol and get the grenade launcher. Is that a regular shotgun? I emergencyly went for the triple machine gun. If we had an accuracy upgrade, that would be actually a pretty good weapon. Machine gun will take because it's a little bit better than the pistol because it's automatic. The accuracy leaves a little bit to be desired though. If we can get accuracy, that'd be cool. We have a grenade launcher, so we're in the sewer, so that means we can that's right, go to the secret area. Trying to make sure that that little reticule goes directly on my targets to make me a little bit more accurate. So the rat moved from the left to the right. I was going to hit that dude and blow that up and kill everybody on screen. But my own explosion got ate by the rat. Hey, we got, uh, steroids. Who doesn't have their golden weapon. Because I think I might have fucked the golden weapon. Or it's a crossbow, I don't remember. If it's a crossbow, I want to keep the crossbow. I think I might have fucked the golden weapon, though. Which was, like I said, a crossbow. We want to take that grenade launcher. Again, maybe. Better accuracy is probably the best thing to get for steroids, because he has an accuracy penalty. So two machine guns would be pretty damn good. Almost ran out of that uh, ammunition or whatever. Again, I'm trying to keep track of the bullets more than the characters or the enemies, I should say. Crossbow grenade launcher is probably not the best. Double grenade launcher sounds kind of hilarious. We 
We don't have tracking shots, unfortunately. No, 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 thank you. We could wait, but I'll probably get steroids and try and get that next time. That character unlock. I feel upset about running into that one. stuff uh shit and a weapon Blood loss, I guess, will be the best I'm a little nervous please stop jackhammer is not what I wanted It's a good way to get rid of traps. Double flame shotgun. Pop rifle. And what's the other? A laser? The fucking car blew up and killed me. I knew it would. I'm a little upset about that because we were actually running pretty well and I was like, oh, I shouldn't do this because if I do this and kill it and the portal pops up and blows up the car, it'll kill me. That was my exact thought too and I did it anyways. Are you getting me again? A little upset about that, but at the same time, kind of should have expected it. As long as we don't get hit, we're good. That is a really good thing to have, so we don't have to worry about our own goddamn explosions anymore. Grenade launcher would be actually a good thing to utilize. Chrome butt is really good with this character as long as we utilize it in the proper way. Would be nice. HP and ammo drop. Shit. So, what do we want to go for exactly? Is the question. Uh. We just can't get hit. That's the thing. We just cannot get hit. I guess this. I would love homing bolts. I would really love homing bolts.
Should probably switch to the crossbow to get some bolts. Fever is rising. They do one shot us and I, I moved I tried to move away but I couldn't uh, robo bro. with the golden melee weapon I probably should do steroids if I'm gonna try and get the the thing Let's okay. Well, that's kind of hilarious to me. to uh, this will be on a boss floor if we do it like this which I'm not shotgun double slugger oh you dumb fucking idiot I didn't even like realize what I was doing till as soon as I hit it and I was like son of a bitch oh what's really funny if I'm not mistaken now that I think about it I'm pretty sure said crossbow after it gave me that I said yes or the game asked crossbow and I said yes I should say oh this is a little annoying let's try to save him for last I have the setup that will get me the kill on that dude. And now I can't help but get the damn. I cannot get the other series of gems, I'd be very happy about that. Be able to possibly get it in the next area before the boss if I don't get it here literally just before the boss though is the thing Yeah, 
for him for last hit. Alright, now we just need to skip one more. Patience might be what I go for here to try and get back or something like that. Damn cars. I fucking ran into it like a goddamn idiot. fucking fire of my being, you stupid fucking bandit motherfucker. Whatever. Whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We just need to skip two. That's all we need to do is skip two. But I just love it, the idea that I, I'm trying to get the shit done with. Like, trying to get it, and lo and behold, I cannot get a single damn one because of just game saying no. Yeah, I ran into that one, but I couldn't really help because of how quickly it was happening. How quickly it fired. Save that one for last. Over there. I've noticed I haven't been shot fire firing the shotgun as I fired the machine gun, which is something I should be doing. Maggot bastards. Take last wish just so I can still do it if need be. nervous because I'm pretty sure the thing spawned and there are some long arms. I just I'm a little upset about that death a little upset about that death not gonna lie This is a little bit faster than the thing. Regular shotgun is probably good enough for me for now. Uh, a little upset about that. Let's see infuriated. Be infuriated in all fucking honesty. Like, come the fuck on, game. Work with me. I wanted to feed it 
Oh shit, we can double machine gun it up. Accuracy starts to take a bad hit. Over here. Horror unlocked. Nice. That's what the goal was. I don't even know what the mechanic for horror was. I can't remember. like the mechanic of him is being able to fire a uh, laser type weapon that costs experience. Below on ammunition. Explosive would be nice. That's a minute. up and I didn't quite intend to do that, but that's fine. More chest spawns is fine with me. So to unlock horror, you have to not only defeat him, you have to skip, uh, you have to get to the floor after you defeat him. I ran into that one, but that's fine. Unlock horror! You have to skip two, uh, thingies. Extra mutation choice. A radiation beam. Yeah, we need we actually need radiation for that. Horror is probably one of my favorite ones. Now that I'm thinking about it, that has a mutation choice. Also, a pretty powerful radiation being the only downside of that is if you don't quit your experience to lose it. I'm pretty sure he has a longer range of collecting said radiation, though. For rads. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, we missed it. Why? Did I just sit there and take that like that? Fuck. 
rockets. I don't want to die this early. Might have just wasted a lot of experience there. Will he absorb it? The maggots are doing more damage to me than everything else combined. Homing bolts would be nice, I do like it. Less HP for the enemies is even better. that I got hit by that one, but it makes sense because of how quickly they came out of the uh, mother's face. Experience there. That's a shame and a half. Recycle one, I guess. Uh, careful, not perfect, but careful with the toxic pro. We should be fine. But it's so, it's, it's, it can be pretty useful. There's a, a delay and then it goes pop. There's a delay, then it pops. Uh, how many arrows would coming in would be clutch right about now? It's kind of immediate if it hits something, it seems like if it hits a body, it's immediate. But. do one more run maybe switch to something else I have no idea what we're gonna switch to but we'll find out
It's every level off. There's a certain point, like level 10 or something like that, where we can't get any more. This is like the first time I've got loot. I'm gonna use the disc gun. Probably not, if I'm being honest. Strong back. Sure, why not? Take damage there? How did I take four damage there? I'm both confused and a little annoyed by that, not gonna lie. Beam charges up faster, prolonged beam uses use oh okay, we heal from a beam use? as prolonged as I thought. We need to use like a whole level of things. I'm trying to do right. I'm trying to bait out. Dumb, dumb. I knew that was gonna happen and my brain said don't do this because you have no way to back it up so I did it anyways that was fun uh, I kind of feel like playing different games you know uh, also for those of you that are on YouTube I do thank you for stopping by and I do hope you enjoyed uh, links in the description below if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe before you head on out and until next time take care and have a good one. Bye-bye, YouTube.